Hey everyone, welcome to a special creature feature episode of Family Moments, where we're showcasing different animals to help us teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with dogs. Dogs? Hot diggity dog. I love dogs. So do I. So are we going to the dog park? No, what we're going to do... Or maybe we're going to the pet store. No, today we're actually going to... Oh, are we going to buy a new dog? A new dog? Sadie, we already have a dog. Hey, you know what they say. What's that? Two dogs are better than one. <laughs> I don't think that's a saying. Well, every dog has its day. Yeah, this ain't yours. Oh man, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. And you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, brother. <laughs> Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about being wise. Being wise? I thought we were going to learn about dogs. No, we're actually going to use a dog to learn our Bible lesson. And that lesson is actually about foolishness. Are you saying dogs are foolish? Well, they can be. Well, that's not very nice. Have you ever heard the phrase, he's as sick as a dog? Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know a lot of sick dogs. How sick do they get anyhow? Well, apparently back in the early 1700s, diseases were often spread through animals like rats and birds and yes, even dogs. And so when someone was very sick, people began saying, he's as sick as a dog. So what does foolishness have to do with being sick? Well, let's take a look at today's Bible verse and find out. It comes from Proverbs 26, 11, where it says, As a dog returns to its vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. That's disgusting! Why do dogs do that anyhow? Throw up and then eat it again? Well, it doesn't make sense, but that's what the Bible says a fool is like. He does something unwise, and then he returns and does it again. That is foolish. And we can be foolish sometimes, too. Not foolish enough to eat my own puke. No, but believe me, we've all made unwise choices in our lives. Yeah, so what's your point? Well, my point is, just as dogs can make foolish choices, so can we. On the other hand, dogs can also be trained, and we too can train ourselves to make wise choices. Hey, why don't we bring out a special guest and demonstrate that? <laughs> well, we can bring her out, but... Daisy, come here! Come on, Daisy! Oh, my God, she's oh. Okay, so this is Daisy, everyone. She's our 14-year-old Bichon Frise Shih Tzu. 14? Wow, in dog years, that'd be like... Dad, what's 14 times 7? That'd be 98. 98? Wow, she's almost as old as you! Very funny. She may be old, but unfortunately in our family, she's never been man's best friend. What are you talking about? Well, let's see. She never comes to me, she doesn't know any tricks, and she coughs all the time. See? Well, she can't help that. It's annoying. And she knows some tricks. Watch. Daisy, sit. Good girl. Yeah, well, what else does she do? That's about it. <laughs> Impressive. And she's not very well trained. What are you talking about? She's trained. Yeah, she's trained us. Oh, brother. Daisy loves us. She loves you. She doesn't love me. She does, too. That dog is more excited when I leave than when I come home. It's like she hates me. You're being too hard on her. I am not. Here, I'll prove it to you. Grab her for a second, would you? I'm going to take her way over here and set her down. And we're going to see who she comes to first. Ready? I'll call first. Here, Daisy. Come here, girl. Come here. Come on, girl. Come here. See? You give it a try. Daisy, come here. Come here. See? Okay, you may be right. Yeah, tell me about it. The reason she goes to you is because you and Mom give her treats for every little thing she does. What's wrong with that? I'm not giving her a treat every time she goes to the bathroom. That's ridiculous. No wonder she doesn't come to you. She knows better. <laughs> well, she may not be as foolish as I think. She's formed the habit of knowing where the food is, you and mom, and where it's not, me. And that's how we need to live our lives, too. 
What do you mean? Well, if we want to avoid repeating foolish choices in life, we need to form the habit of making wise choices every day. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Like reading the Bible. Bingo. And praying. Right again. And hanging with others who make wise choices. Exactly. How did you know? Because you must have formed the habit of telling me those things over and over for years. Good point. Forming the habit of making wise choices instead of foolish ones is a beautiful thing. So, Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that as crazy as it seems for a dog to return to its vomit, that's the same thing a fool does when he keeps making the same crazy choices over and over again. Exactly. And the best way to avoid foolish behavior is by forming the habit of reading my Bible, praying, hanging with good people, and making wise decisions. Very good. Now, you may be old, and you two have not hit it off so well in the past, but it's never too late to teach an old dog a new trick. <laughs> oh boy, what exactly did you have in mind? Well, I figured if you were the one giving her a few more treats, she might actually come to you more often. I don't know about that. So I've got some dog biscuits and some water. Why don't you hold her and feed her and give it a shot? I guess it's worth a try. See? She likes you. Hey, this might work out after all. Now put it down and see what happens. Okay. There you go, girl. See if you'll come to... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It looks like she's about to... Uh -oh. Throw up. On my foot. Hey, maybe she'll reheat it. I can only be so lucky. Well, don't just stand there. Pour some water on me. <laughs> I meant on my foot. Oh, sorry. I'll get you for this. And your little dog, too. We'll see you around.